Creating a Discord for your streaming community is absolutely crucial. It is the best way to convert viewers and followers into community members. But it can be kind of tough to make one and you have to learn about roles and different verification rules and banning and moderation. It's a bit tough. Don't worry, I've set it up for you. All it takes is one click on the link in the description and you'll have your own Discord server. Today, I'll show you how to run it, set it up and grow your community. Let's go. Hey, my name is LJ with streamscheme.com. I'm also a variety streamer over at twitch.tv slash LJM underscore. Links to both of those in the description. I have a question for you. Why haven't you started the Discord yet? And I'm actually being serious. Is it that it's just too tough? Are the roles scary? Are the verifications scary? Comment down below so I can deep dive into the thing that is stopping you from creating a Discord. And also let me know what are the best Discord channels you've seen in the servers that you're on. Today, I'm gonna to show off the Stream Scheme template link for Discord servers. Essentially, all you have to do is click it. It'll ask you to populate and create a new server. And then I'll walk you through how to edit it, add your own roles, verify people, and go on from there. There are time codes as well as the actual template link in the description down below, so check those out if you wanna skip ahead. However, let's just jump into it with the template link and I'll explain what kind of server you're getting your hands on today. I know I've already said it three times, but I have to say it again. The top link in the description is the template Discord server. Click that, it'll prompt you to open up and create your own Discord server using that template and you'll be good to go, okay? Top link, you can do this guys. Please don't comment. <laughs> This template server comes with all of the categories, channels, permissions, roles, all set up for you. They're good to go. The only thing this server doesn't come with is Twitch subscriber role set up because you have to do that on an individual level. However, don't worry, at the end of this video, I will give you directions to get that set up. So what kind of categories and channels have we pre-built into this template for you? Well, it comes with a welcome channel, announcements, YouTube video if you're doing YouTube content, rules and info, but you have to type in your own rules and fill it out because we can't put those for you. It has everything you need in a base Discord, but as I said, we'll show you how to make your own ones today as well. The first thing you probably need to learn is how to create an invite so that when you have finished with your Discord and you're ready to start getting new community members into it or setting it up for your mods, how do you create an invite link to get them in? Well, very, very easy. Head over to server settings, click invite people, and then here is where you can edit it. Now there are two options in this section once you click edit a link. The first is how many uses? I have mine set to 100 uses before the link expires, and that is because I'm worried about bots and stuff like that coming into my server and filling it up. If I have 100 uses and someone tries to bot my Discord server, it'll get caught and shut off that invite link. The second is the time expiration. How long will the link last for? For now, I recommend setting it so that the time expiration is infinite, it's not gonna expire, and the amount is 100. This will be easy for you to switch out and in as your Discord grows bigger. Copy that link and start sending it out to the community members. Put it in your panels, put it wherever you want. But there are a few things you probably wanna do before that, which is including creating your own channels, adding in your rules and info, and generally making new roles. So I'll show you guys how to do that now. Setting up roles and verification for the server is easy. Now it actually comes with pre-built roles and verification. The first would be everyone, meaning that anyone who joins will be that role, and then they can be assigned roles. Verified is someone who has just joined, they're a normal community member, they can interact, do everything they want. There are community mods, which are people who have a little bit of power, but not the whole power over the Discord. These people help moderate, make sure nothing bad happens. Moderators, you're very, very trusted mods. These are the people who you know are not gonna do anything wrong. And admins, this is your role. You're the leader of the Discord or whoever is gonna run the Discord for you. For now, I would recommend doing a manual verification process. It's a bit easier and safer to start with while you're learning. And in the future, you can set up a bot to verify people. So to start with, I recommend writing in your rules and info that people have to go to hashtag server access, which is the channel that's already created for you. And they have to post their Twitch username or whatever the other thing they need to post for you to verify them. And once they've done that, a mod can click on their name, click this little plus button and click verify. This means that that person can now see the rest of the Discord and they are good to go. If you wanna add your own roles, it's very, very simple. Head to server settings, go to your roles and click add a new role. Now, please be very, very careful when you do this to make sure you set up all of the roles information themselves. Don't give them too much power unless you're trying to create a new moderation role because if you accidentally create a new role and start setting people to it, you may accidentally create someone who can delete an entire channel or kick you out of your own server. So be very, very careful. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to set up your own channels, categories, and a few other things soon, but I wanna throw it out there if this video has helped you out at all. If you choose to use our template link, maybe let us know by commenting down below or subscribe to the video because it really helps us out as well. Don't forget to check out our free overlays in our Discord, and if you need any help, you can also ask questions there. Link's in the description. So how do you create your own channel inside this template? Well, it's very, very easy. Today I'm gonna to show you how to set up a staple of every streaming community, Pet Photos Channel. 
Seriously, this is in every single streamer Discord. And if you're in one that this isn't in, is it really a streamer's Discord if there's no pet photos? Come on. So there are a few ways to do this today. I'm gonna to show you guys how to do it by adding to the category. Go to the general category, hit the little plus sign and click add a new channel. We're gonna name this pet photos today and then we should be good to go. If you're creating this inside our Discord template and you've done it that exact way, it'll inherit the permissions from the category. If you aren't, then you're gonna to need to right click on that channel, click permissions and set that up manually. An example of this is what you're gonna do is add a new permission to it add the verified role or whatever your base role for a viewer is called and then you're gonna have to change these settings. What you'll want to set for someone who's a verified member is so they can't create invites, they can't manage the channel at all since that's a moderation tool. Let them read, send messages, no TTS, no managing the messages because again that's for mods. Let them embed links, it's up to you if you want them to attach files but this could be dangerous obviously they can send viruses or trojans by accident. They're allowed to read the message history, I think it's very important and I would say don't let them tag everyone External emojis is a no worries. And of course, reactions are a no brainer because reactions rock. If you're wondering how to add emojis to your channel and category, like titles, it's actually really easy. All you have to do is go to the Discord server on your phone app, hold down, edit the name, and then just put the emoji using your phone. It is the fastest way I've found to do it. There are a few other ways, but that is the fastest way to do it. The next step is a bit daunting, apparently. I've been talking to a lot of affiliates lately and they've been struggling to set up subscriber roles. But actually, it's pretty much done for you by Twitch and Discord. If your Discord account is linked to your Twitch account and your Twitch account is an affiliate, all you have to do is take your Discord account, go to the server, go to integrations in the server settings and add Twitch. I have a whole video on it though that covers a lot of really important steps. So check that out in the descriptions and in the playlist. So with that, you should have your Discord server for your stream community all set up and ready to start populating with your huge community as they can play games together and do whatever they want to celebrate your stream. With that out of the way though, I do have to throw it out there. If this helps, subscribing means a lot to us. Check us out on Twitter. We're trying to grow over there as well. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.